So just a brief history. Um, the Archive of Market and Social Research was uh, established only in 2016 by a group of senior UK market researchers who were rather sad that a lot of their work, which was on paper, um, was, was being lost. And uh, they thought that their heritage may be lost over time. So uh, we were set up to preserve the market research, market and social research industries output for the last 70 years. Unfortunately, I wasn't around there in the team in 2016. They, they decided at that point to digitize it all, um, which I'm very grateful for because uh, we now have a, a totally digital archive, apart from books, of course, um, and it is can be browsed for free at uh, amsr.org.uk. We're a charity and we're maintained and operated by over 40 volunteers. I think some of you are in the uh, audience now. Um, and our remit as the content committee is to collect and curate content, which uh, will be of value to future historians and whatever. But at the moment, our main strategy, our key strategy is to develop usage of the archive. We want to, uh, we want to develop much more people using it. And what do we have? I mean, basically anything to do with market research over the last 70 years. So there's conference papers and newsletters, there's training materials on our methods and how methods developed over the 20 years. We've got the classic Murray and NOP opinion polls and a lot of social research. We've got qualitative research, so research that was done by focus groups and depth interviews, a very excellent collection from Peter Cooper um, from the 70s and 80s. We've got academic papers and we've got audience research. Um, you can sort of say we've got something on everything, but we might not have everything on, uh, on a particular subject. 